Hey guys, currently I have AIDS and I sound like this. So today I'm gonna teach you how to make it the case. It's uh, it's like a type of quesadilla I just invented. Yeah. <laughs> Did anyone else hear this beat? That kitchen beat? <laughs> anyway. First you get your pan. And then your spatula. You are then going to need some of these items. You then get some bread. And a case. You then open up the bread like this. Here's an example how to not open up the bread. See, there's a hole in it. After you got yourself some bread and a piece of quesadilla, you get yourself your local bag of cheese that we all obviously own in our refrigerator. You then uh, grab your cheese and you put it down on the quesadilla in the middle, spread it out a bit. The bread is going to be on top of this. Now, get your cheese and start putting it around the bread. So, this pretty much kind of works like glue and helps keep this masterpiece together. Also, just, it's more cheese. More cheese, the better. Then grab some cheese and you put it on top of the bread. You then forget to butter it up and take the cheese off. You then grab yourself a knife. You can put some butter on it and spread it around. You can also actually um, butter up the whole thing before this, but I hate my sister, so I'm not going to do that. You then get some ham. This is optional, but you can put it on top of the bread. You then get the ham and start placing it on top of the bread. After you do that, you fold the sides of the quesadilla on top of this masterpiece. You then start folding the corners in on itself. And this is what cases everything in. This is also what makes it thick. You then wanna, you know, turn this to like somewhere to low in the middle of medium and low. You then get some butter. You stab it to make sure it's dead. You then uh, use a spatula. It has to be metal, but I'm using a plastic one. I don't know, to piss my family off. You then get your thick case, you put it down, and like, as you start collecting it a bit, just start rubbing it around. You want to make sure you press the middle so it like actually cooks in the middle too. Butter it up a bit by rubbing it on the pan. This gives it more flavor, I guess. I'm gonna try to flip this thing, this, this hockey puck, and you start doing the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna try to flip this bastard of a hockey puck, and it's gonna take a few tries. I don't know why. Just flip it over, and then you hurt it. So make sure it's not alive. I'm gonna hurt this thing. You're gay. You then open up your plate slavery account. You then grab a plate. This is an example of a plate. This is an example of not a plate. This is also an example of not a plate. You then put your plate down. You grab your hockey puck and place it down on the plate. Give it a good smack to make sure it's not alive. You then hurt it. You get. It. Then I guess you just take your utensils or whatever you made to cook it. You throw it in the sink. Um, move the thing, and forget about the cheese. You don't need to put that away. It's someone else's problem now. All you care about is that you made some food and you can eat it. And grab your thick case. You put it on the table. You now enjoy.